we're really at the start of a revolution, I believe, in the use of artificial intelligence for healthcare. We routinely monitor the newborn brain using the EEG. It stands for electroencephalograph, which is like the electrical activity of the brain. When we're doing an EEG, we're measuring tiny electrical impulses from the brain, and we're plotting them out on a, on a machine, on a computer screen. So we can interrogate these electrical patterns, but unfortunately, we don't have neurophysiologists available 24 seven, seven days a week to work in the neonatal intensive care. So therefore, what can we do to solve that problem? And what we've come up with in the Delphi project is to train a computer algorithm using lots of EEG data to actually do that job for us. For a number of years now, we've been recording EEGs from babies both here in Cork and from neonatal units across Europe. And we're using that to train the algorithm so that when it sees an abnormal pattern or a normal pattern, it says, all right, that's okay, that one isn't. Now, it'll never replace the role of a clinician at the cot side, but what it will do, it will provide some decision support, help them to make a decision as to whether or not an infant needs some treatment or needs an intervention. We're in the first year of this project now to develop an algorithm to identify the severity of newborn brain injury. So we've recruited the staff, we're training the algorithm at the moment, and once that's trained, it will be ready then to start the commercialization project. So it's available at the cot side, because that's what we want. We want our technology to be available to every baby who can benefit from it. I'm delighted to have received a Wellcome Trust Innovator Award, because it's had a huge impact on the research that we do here at the Infant Research Centre. We have so much more to do. We have lots of questions that we need answers for quickly in the neonatal intensive care unit. So for example, we monitor heart rate, blood pressure, oxygenation. These are signals that we can interrogate using machine learning, and that will help us to address further problems in newborn health. And of course, all the data we're using for this project would not have been possible without the help of all the amazing families who allowed their babies to participate in our research studies.